Vesuvius is one of the most famous volcanoes in history, even though it erupted a little more than 1900 years ago. The volcano is located in southeast Italy, and it's almost on top of the Bay of Naples. Vesuvius is located on the Eurasian Plate, very close to the subduction zone in the African Plate. This causes massive earthquakes and eruptions due to its position. The amount of magma in the area has due to the gap window from the subducting African Plate, which is a piece in the middle broken off. When the stratovolcano erupted in AD 79, it was near the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. These cities no longer exist. Vesuvius is part of the Campion Arc of Volcanoes in Italy, which includes the recently erupting Mount Etna. Since the eruption happened such a long time ago, no one is exactly sure what happened to the surrounding cities, but based on geologic and archaeological evidence, Scientists can begin to imagine the mass destruction that had occurred. Scientists estimate the eruption took place either on the 24th or 25th August of AD 79. Over the course of 24 hours, the surrounding cities were destroyed. The eruption would have started with a very strong earthquake, caused enough pressure that magma would have begun to rise towards the top of the volcano and begin its mass destruction. The lava began to pour out the top and speed down the side of the mountain. The pressure later on in the day would have created a pyroclastic flow that would have buried the surrounding cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. The mountain also spewed out tons of volcanic ash that covered a 24-mile radius around the volcano in an elliptical shape. The process also covered the area in feet of volcanic ash that would have crushed buildings and buried people. Due to the immense earthquake that began the eruption, it also caused a tsunami that swept through the Bay of Naples. After the eruption, the volcano and the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum became forgotten, until years later when archaeologists discovered the buried bodies of people living in the two cities. 1,500 of these bodies were found in Pompeii alone. Some of these people were found sitting in their chairs eating when the pyroclastic flows hit the city. While the tragedy was horrible for anyone living in the areas, the information gained from this was a mess. The find was one of the biggest collaborations when archaeology and geology could work together to figure out what happened in the past. This event still impacts us today.